past months, heavy rains and thunderstorms have caused havoc in several states of the country. Despite warnings from the National Emergency Management Agency to residents along the River Niger to be on alert over the risk of catastrophic flooding, thousands have been displaced, many lives lost and property destroyed. This time, Araya Community, one of the 37 towns in the Soko area of Delta State, south-south Nigeria, has experienced increased level of flood waters resulting from the overflowing of the river Niger, while farmland, crops, livestock and fish farms have been destroyed. This road was awarded by NDTC about six years ago to uh, a company known as Fojak Nigeria Limited. But to this movement, nothing has been done to show. So we are appealing to the federal government, NDDC, to come to our aid. The president of the Soko National Youth Association says sensitization has been going on to educate the people, as this is not a first experience. Now that um, it has come, the only thing we need to do is to first of all look for ways to ameliorate the, the sufferings of those that are already, you know, uh, um, affected by the flooding uh, uh, incidents. For the state's commissioner for environment, the federal government has to complement their efforts in finding a solution. We're calling on the federal government to also intervene because the other state has done a lot. The issue of that particular community is being taken care of in a way of we providing uh, uh, IDP camps for them to move them out for them to stay. Araya community is located in the tropical rainforest area of the Niger Delta and experiences high rainfall and humidity most times of the year. Flooding in the area has become a yearly occurrence, thereby causing a lot of havoc to the residents. Steps towards controlling the disaster and preventing further damage to the people must be taken by the relevant authorities as soon as possible.